away we go. Cows are out. Oh, they're all huddled up. Oh, we're out. That's nice. Right. Screen thing. Yeah, it's nice, doesn't it? Yep, the farmers' markets on. They're queuing up. Yeah, I feel like a drowned rat. We're just getting some fuel. It is absolutely chucking it down with rain now. So, hubby did say, did I want to go in the range? Oh, I am tonight. I thought, no, I've had enough. You know, we went in one shot. We was going to do um, Asta, the range, and possibly them on the way back um, to the farm, but I decided not to. Um, one shop had enough, so I'll do the haul when we get back.
wasn't raining when we left. The windy city is mighty pretty pretty lane. Got what we got. No, That's sorry. It. Okay, for my mini Asta food haul here. So, um, we did go for the larger bag of rolls. Um, this is um, 24 um, rolls for £2. So, that will cover for BLTs, um, cheese, and say cheese and tomato rolls, things like that. Um, we are going to do a test, taste, taste test on the sausage roll walkers crisps. Um, they're by um, Lad Baby. If you've seen um, them either in the stores or I've actually um, follow him on YouTube, um, they have been very difficult to actually um, get, and you only get five packets in there and they're a pound and I did actually buy three lots um, got the Pringles because they got the Christmas um, sort of um, packaging bought these um, to keep up for our son to make him a little bundle up for Christmas these are just the original ones and these are one pound twenty five sorry I've just um, switched off the little mini electric heater because it could be quite noisy especially as it's just behind me um so yeah that was the pringles and um, we've got the strawberry trifle which as you probably know we often purchase when we go into asta from the caravan and i believe that was one pound 78 i do apologize and i always make this declaration if i do get the prices wrong um did get hobby some of the fruit pastels these were two for um 60 pence and then we got the deal which is three items for £10 yeah it is absolutely chucking it down with rain it makes it sound worse because of the wind so we got the bonus beef ribs haven't had these before this is with the bourbon barbecued sauce um, so we're having this sort of um, I think for tea today not sure if I'm doing two lots of ribs we shall see how hungry we are but um so we've got these and then we've got the smoky barbecue pork rag rack of ribs yeah as you can see rib um theme here and like I said we have actually had these before so and we like them so that was three items for ten pounds um, going back to the snacks, we've got um, these. Again, this is to go with the um, Pringles and making a little um, goodie package up for our son. Although, because it's um, Winner PlayStation, it's got the PlayStation sort of control on there. That wouldn't um, look bad actually with his um, gaming gift that I'm making up. And I think these were 98 pence. Um these are smaller um size i'm sure i've had these over the last um couple of christmases and these are i believe 85p each so we've got pigs in blankets and we've got the turkey and stuffing and they're well in date so i'm going to keep those up for christmas um to have with the ribs and i think we've got these crispy potato slices now this product we've actually found very good in the oven if it was at home we probably would have it with fries and they were a pound each and then i've got some salad stuff which consists of the tomatoes which i think was one pound 49 yeah. something like that I was, I was just looking at her but i think they were one pound 49 um we've got cheesy coleslaw that was a pound and I think this was £1.49. We thought we'd try this. Not a big celery um, lover, but it's something a bit different. Celery, peanut and sultana. And then we've got the lettuce, which, although it's got 50p on there, um, because it's got today's date on, that is 12 pence. So that is um, for BLTs and to have with this, this and all that for tea so that is my mini food um asta haul i've got a few um extra pieces that are not 
um, food related and I'll be showing you that next right so we finally managed to get the lab baby sausage rolls crisps I know there's been difficulty in getting them son's been trying to get them hobby and also myself we finally got them so is now going to sample them and see what our review is very often i think a lot of the crisps that got different flavors like meat ones always smell or, or taste of smoky bacon so here we go the tasting test do they actually taste of sausage rolls um different taste but to me, it, it, it tastes more like. Don't say smoky bacon. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but with a twist. With a twist. Um. So, are they okay? Yeah, they're okay. But I wouldn't say they're sort of sausage rollish. But I don't eat that many sausage rolls. <laughs> no, I'm the sausage roll yeah. eater. Right, let me turn. Yes. Are they sausage roll flavour? Yeah, they are. Oh. I don't eat that many sausage rolls. Especially that first bite, it tested the pastry. Yep. That's my thumbs up. Oh, okay. Excuse me, with a mouthful. <laughs> so there we are. So um, if anybody follows our um, lab baby, which we have for quite some time, this is the um, Walker's um, sausage roll crisps. So for lunch today, like I said, we've got um, BLTs, bacon, lettuce, tomato with mayo. And then what we've got for dessert is Belgium chocolate eclairs. So that is what is for lunch for today. So the sun's trying to come out, but... It's absolutely peeing it down. They say it's cats and raining cats and dogs, but this is more like sheep and cows. But it's good else. <laughs> <laughs> As I say, the weather is very changeable and the sun's come out now. Um, it does make a lot of difference um, when the sun comes out. You know, it makes it feel warmer and brighter. Um, so there's the, just in the um, background there is the undercover bit. Not used so much, to, I don't suppose, this time of year because it, it's too windy at the moment and too breezy. But it has been used quite a lot through the summer months. Although that wind's still um, blowing a bit. But otherwise it's not too bad at the moment. Right, the rain's eased up and wind hopefully while I get this video um, done by this part. <laughs> whack whack, take two. <laughs> that was the heater. Right, yeah. More than often I'm putting the bloopers in now because nothing is perfect if it's not noise, lighting or you know people behind you pulling faces yeah right this part is the um sort of non-food items i've got a few pieces uh one of the things that was on our list and i think this was 3.95 i'd like to say is the little um step stool for a granddaughter to use the toilet um because i don't think that's been helping my back also trying to lift it on and off the toilet so i finally got this one and yeah it's got a bit of pink in i probably would have rather have had it in white and black but there you are but never mind so as i say that is a 3.95 
um we finally got some ink this was i believe 34 pound 50 is the black and the color hopefully now we can get a printer working hopefully fingers crossed so i can get my junk book um completed because i said i want to get that done by the end of the year and waiting for the ink plus a few other projects that i want to get done um i bought a couple more the last set i got of these was in ikea but i'm i keep saying this maybe i should have bought more but there's only so much you can um purchase especially um in the caravan um because of storing it before we get home is these jars and i love these jars if you've seen most of my videos you know i've got three of these in our bathroom it's got like the um you know um earbuds in and things like that and cotton wool and things like that and i like these because they clip up like this i also purchased these because i want to do these um for some little christmas gifts and that's coming up soon i'm doing a variety of different gifts don't necessarily all mean for christmas i'm sort of putting that all together as i'm getting the gifts um together you know in little um gift boxes and packaging the thing and these are nice um you can put biscuits cookies in them you can put sweets in them i've done some of them in the slightly bigger jars as like little spa treatments and things like that you only put um a bit of ribbon on there and they make nice little gifts even sweets um especially if they've got their own wrappers look nice in these so that's why i've got a couple of these and these were a pound each couple of um christmas items yeah need another soap dispenser like a hole in the head um this one was four pounds um i bought this to have in our kitchen um over christmas and i think you might be able to see that just got merry christmas and the um father christmas on there it's nice at the moment because it feels fairly warm due to the fact the sun's finally came out so yeah so that's the dispenser and that was four pounds um they do do like the toothbrush holder or beak as you call it um but i so i wanted this for our kitchen and something hubby purchased he saw me seeing it and um bedding wise especially a lot of seasonal pieces i tend to buy after the season and get them reduced this was full price and this was 18 pounds but look what have you bought me it's the um disney um quilt cover this is in a double this was actually 18 pounds i can't remember the last time i actually spent that on a duvet set um because i tend to buy a lot of them on clearance and um it's just got the easy care duvet set uh, with two matching pillowcases it is one of those reversible ones and it's got mickey with the red truck and the christmas tree and as i say it's got that design and then the reverse is that design so yeah as i said i'm hoping to do a sort of disney themed christmas bedroom for our bedroom this year um and this will I wasn't going to bother because I have got a couple of um, Christmas duvet covers, um, but you know, it only comes out um, a little bit during the Christmas season, so it will last um, a few years anyway. So that is that. And as I say, eighteen pounds. Yeah, okay. It is a quite um, you know a lot more than what I normally pay for duvets. Or I should say, um, hubby purchased that for me. So there we are so that is the non-perishable items i got from asta i may um be doing something else this afternoon i'm not sure say we've had a busy um day so far today but i probably will actually um cover what is in this um season's asta magazine i did actually show you parts of it in asta um, the Aston magazine when it was out and that was Halloween and now we've got the Christmas because it does actually give you some ideas on food, drinks, gifts and clothing. Kiwi! Is that a sign for me to get up? Yes it is darling. <laughs>
like I said, I often buy these magazines. Not so much this year with everything going on, but um, I got the Halloween one and now the uh, um, the Christmas Aster one. They are free. I don't know if anybody else does this, and I also do it usually with Tesco's. But I do like the Aster um, free magazines, and they give you some really good ideas how to change your menus up. Um, so let me know if anybody else does this anyway. Um, so I've sorted some pages out. As I said, some of the presentation is amazing. Some of the um, recipes are yeah, a bit beyond me, but um, you could always either adapt them or do something else with them. Um, some items um, you buy or purchase already made, others um, you make the recipes yourself. And one of the good ideas I think is this one um, with leftovers and it's like mini Yorkshires. They've done this one actually with roast beef and horseradish sauce in little um, mini Yorkshires. Um, and you could do this even with the turkey stuffing and cranberry which will be nice for leftovers especially i don't know so much what's going on this christmas but especially if you've got to um feed you know a, a few of your members of your family it's really good idea or you know in the future maybe could do something like this and use any um form of joint with it so Let's get on as I say it gives you the full rundown of um, Christmas dinner as well um, hobby tends to do different things like this I mean we do have um, the roast potato seasoning we have with our roast potatoes hubby tends to cook Christmas dinner and has done for a good many years now because right from when I was working I always used to work as a care over Christmas so he always took on Christmas dinner and even though I don't work, he's still taken um, the Christmas dinner over. And he's done things like um, the Brussels sprouts with bacon. And um, he's tried different seasonings and different ways of um, cooking dinner. And then um, the following year, obviously, he just does what works for the rest of the family and what everybody enjoys. As I said, I think I've done the rundown of what, how he um, prepares the turkey and everything. And... Um, he tends to do um, the butter and orange um, sort of um, under the skin and things like that. So, yeah, he does go a full whack on it. The only thing he does say is it's the one meal. Um, he, he enjoys watching everybody else eat, but it's one meal. He finds that he can't eat so, so well as everybody else because he's had to prepare it. But that's what I feel sometimes um, certain meals I've done once you've um, cooked it. Um, mixed grill is my one where I don't fancy eating it after I've cooked it so as I said there is quite a lot and I do like this one and uh, this is um, all the flavours of Christmas turkey in a pastry wrapped slice and I think that looks nice as well so as I say there's quite a few so if you happen to go to Asta pick the magazine up if you don't usually because as i said you can get some really good ideas and also um it does do the costing per portion as well this one looks really nice don't think we would do it with the fresh rosemary but it, i think it looks really presentable and it's piggy blankets um on a, a rosemary um fresh rosemary sliced um like reef and then inside the middle bit you've got the cranberry um sauce so that is really good and like i said it it often tells you how much it would be for the whole thing or per portion so that's that and as i say different ways of doing your roast potatoes um dessert wise i tend to purchase those i must admit although they do look um really nice um it depends if I think if you spent quite a bit of time on your main course, I feel as though you don't want to spend the time um, flapping around so much with the dessert unless it's the other way around and you got a quick, easy main course, then you can spend your time on your dessert. Um, but 
say we normally have traditional um, Christmas pudding anyway. This one is took my fancy actually. This is a no churn ice cream with mince pies. And it says for this frosty festive treat, crumble ready made mince pies into a simple vanilla ice cream mixture, then freeze overnight. No need to stir. And that serves eight ready in 20 minutes plus freezing time. Price per serving is 60 pence. Although, to tell you the truth, I could eat that, you know, just warm the mince pies through and just top it up with ice cream. But as I said, that's quite a nice um, sort of dessert as well. Uh, even if you don't actually mix the, um, break the mince pies up. Yeah, Ferris Rocher, I will mention this. These are the boxes, as I said before. I've allowed the family members to eat the chocolates as long as I can have the box back. And once these um, chocolates have been eaten, this makes really good earring um, st um, storage, as I've showed you in one of my organisation um, videos. And look at that. Fresh tr fruit trifle. Um, as I said, they've got a lot. I don't tend to dwell too much on alcohol because we don't tend to purchase it. But um, they have got a couple of, um, I don't know if they are new, brought out as difference. So I'm just going to flick back through because there is some things I want to um, share. And they do do a segment on using leftovers. There's a close-up of that Yorkshire pudding and roast beef with the horseradish sauce. That looks really yummy. And look at these. Christmas pudding and cranberry sundae shots. Um, you could do this, have it with alcohol or without. And as you can see, they've crumbled up actual um, Christmas pudding in there. Got ice creams, you've got the cranberries. And they've drizzled this one, I understand, with port, I believe. But I would have that without the alcohol. And then we've got time to celebrate. And it gives you just different ways of presenting the food um grazing board perfection this is the classic one um, use a variety of bowls for dips to add depth to the arrangement and as you can see this is especially if you don't want to do a sort of a full meal on this sort of occasion maybe a supper time or something and um, they have different um variations here is a mix up um, tastes and textures for a board to suit everyone. And then you've got like the, the sweet board. And then you've got the fresh veg and herbs add pops of colour. I think that looks gorgeous, as I said. And just add a bit of time for your presentation. Um, they do do a variety of um, alcohol as well. But as I said, I don't tend to dwell on that much as we don't tend to use the alcohol. This is another thing that is really good. Make with leftovers. It's Christmas pudding truffles. Crumbled Christmas pud with plain and white chocolate topped with fresh mint makes an irresistible, irresistible festive treat. There we are. So that really looks really good. And then you've got the Christmas food guide in your magazine. So as I say, please pick up the magazine and let me know if you do any of these treats, as I said, or whether you do actually pick up the brochures um, from the supermarkets. Um, I don't know about Morrison's and Sainsbury's and that sort of thing because I don't tend to shop there, but I presume they do their own magazine as well but as i said we've had something like this before when we've had parties in the past you know all the little miniature things like these miniature burgers but and i think that looks lovely as i said and they've got the different um drinks now what i like about these and i think i showed you something very similar um in the halloween one You've got um, a cocktail and a mocktail. So you've got one that you have alcohol in and one you don't. 
so and they've got different ones there as you can see so we've got the christmas pudding um we have got the um what's that the bombay bramley bramble gin winter spritz and we've got the sailor jerry spiced rum and what else have we got there i think they're the non non-alcohol ones underneath but as i said um you know and make you as i said you make your own cocktails up as well so let me jump a few pages as i said i folded some over now this one i i presume i don't know if it's new or not um this is gingerbread gin liqueur and it is um crafted using ginger and cinnamon flavors for a delightful seasonal sip and the glitter takes it to the next level and that's the gin liqueur i say it's a mother dessert there yogurt and cookies i as i said i'm very impressed with um this magazine and then if you want something to do different for brunch there's this with the with the mixed fruit which looks absolutely yummy especially for christmas morning especially if you're one of those um families that have your dinner late um we tend to have it at lunch time usually we we aim for a particular time or hubby does because he cooks the dinner um but usually we say um we'll eat when it's ready we've had times where it depends on when everybody's using their gas it takes a lot longer than what it should do other times we've found it's got to half 11 and dinner's cooked haven't we darling yeah you never there <laughs> so yeah but normally we aim for 12 12 ish between 12 and half past 12 um t you know sort of times between then so as i said um I think this is one of the best magazines they've brought out actually um, for meals and it says beat the budget as well so it gives you some meals. right all wrapped up they're doing a large variety of their um, Christmas wear and pajamas and everything and pajamas that can fit the whole family and they've got um, sort of little mini gifts and everything and stocking fillers for different members of the family as i said i brought something like this previously actually um for each members of the family and they went down really well especially in the past when we've had family members stay over they've got like the dish um the cereal and just spoon And say, say they've got lots. We didn't go and look at the gifts or the toys, um, so I don't know what else is out there. As I said, we were supposed to have gone and looked at clothes, but we, by the time I'd looked at the bedding, as we were walking to the cashiers, um, I'd had enough. So there we are, and Mickey and Minnie star there, and even gifts for your pet i'm doing this because it was it got quite busy actually um to be able to actually film in asta so this way is a good way of showing what's out there and a lot of these pjs they do them for all members of the family um going right down to um you know the baby or your toddlers so there we are but I said I didn't check out the Christmas clothing. Whether we'll get another chance to go to this Asda before Christmas. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. And as I say, family pyjamas all matching. Um, they have got a baby event on. Um, something I haven't actually got for a granddaughter yet is a Christmas tree decoration. Which I tend to purchase each year again we didn't really look at those and then also um how to you know um have everything together also for the christmas table i do like this idea i've, I've got one plaque but i haven't got enough to do a whole table 
so they've got some lovely um christmas um furnishings as well and let's go dancing which is like the the pale blue and the pinks and everything and look we've got the monster there and the dinosaur light and there's all that set so you've got the prices there also and a few more in the sort of the golds and then finishing off with flower arranging so i just thought i would um share the magazine so do pick one up if you're in your local as just said it covers a majority of things and may just give you that idea just to put a little bit of a spin on you know your food for this year yeah have you put this handle on you know to stop me hopefully from falling up falling down the steps and it done it I traced him out. So, yeah, he's got some land. I'm not quite sure where he, the board of his farm finishes. I don't know if it's where those main trees are. Do you know where his border is? No. He seems to be here, there, and everywhere, doesn't uh, he? I think that field and this field is part of his because I've seen his cows in that field. Oh, okay. And he's had sheep in this field. Yeah, I know it is here, but it, it, I'm not sure. I don't think it goes as far as that. those main trees back there, does it? No. Concentration. concentration. Yeah. Okay, um, dinner tonight is we've got um, bonus beef ribs with a bourbon barbecued sauce, which is these, and then we've got um, smoky barbecued pork rack of ribs, which is there, chipped potatoes, cheesy coleslaw, lettuce and tomatoes. This is not all the ribs, it's just that uh, my excuse is it's a smaller plate in the caravan, so can't get it all on the plates, but that is what is for tea tonight. Right, happy Halloween night. I'm just finishing the video off. Hubby's kindly made me my latte, um, which I'm going to finish it in a minute we're about to watch hocus pocus which we always watch halloween night um so all i'm going to do is say good night thanks for watching goodbye mm -hmm.